with Annette Astrology Corner, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for Wednesday, December 9th. And today we have an energy shift, and that energy is uh, Mercury in Sagittarius moves into Mercury in Capricorn. So I deeply want to talk about what that means, because if you're not really that into astrology, you may not know. So when Mercury was in Sagittarius, um, there was extremely mutable energy and the way that you process your environment, the way that you had conversations and who you had conversations with. So nine times out of 10, the, the, the people that you were talking to had weird different takes on life. And they really challenge some of your regimented belief systems. And some of them you may not have agreed with and some of them you probably did agree with or they started to make you think about a new way to um, interpret what's going on, which has then fueled the fire, because this is a fire-based energy, then fueled the fire for you to want to make some changes. So you may have been overly optimistic to the point of unrealistic in this energy you were, you, as you processed your environment, and as you became enthusiastic about all this brand new information, you just became enthusiastic. It really jazzed you, really just plugged you in. If a lot of you just love to absorb information like I do. I mean, I got really freaking into researching energy more so than I ever have. When I channel the energy of planets, I don't even mean to. So that's why sometimes when I'm in Venus energy, I'm like extremely have a sexual energy about me. And then sometimes when I channel like Sagittarian energy, it's like I do all this fracking research and I just am a mad energy in research. I don't even mean to. Or my when I'm in Sagittarius, I noticed all my videos got really long and I, I felt like I needed to be a teacher. And that's very ninth house elevated thinking work. And so when you channel, if you channel any energy like I do, then you can expect my messages to be different with every energy that I'm channeling and I just want to warn you about that because I've actually been noticing it and I didn't even know that's what happened when you channel I didn't know because I'm I don't consider myself that intuitive but as I'm as I'm dancing with my gifts they're revealing different gifts so um you may have regarded freedom in a way that you express your ideas so much so that you may have strayed from your normal sources such as friends, peers, resources, and spiritual guides. So some of you may have switched up your environment, right? Because as you, you needed difference, you felt compelled. Many of you channel energy and you don't even know it. So many of you who normally seek like maybe one type of astrologer or one type of med um um, metaphysical science may have branched off and found something different when you had all this Sagittarian based energy. Mutable and adaptability may have changed an opinion and a point of view prior to the event that have been fixed had been a fixed belief system. Many of you now have a different take in just basically what you should be doing. Um, and it, and it was just information overload. I don't think we quite know what to do with it yet, but we're definitely going to figure that out as Mercury switches into Capricorn and routes all this information. You may have, you may be left with some restless thoughts that you have went through this in this expansive energy. We expanded mentally big time, big time, so big that we had no direction and we may not totally understand even where the hell we're going or what we're doing or what we're going to do with all of this information. Clarity will come when with all this Capricorn energy, I promise you, because Capricorn energy will really, really um, start to solidify some of this um, information. So to come during this transit when Mercury's in Capricorn, you can expect that we go from a mutable energy into a cardinal energy. So we go from a whatever goes energy, not, you know, just wandering around the world to taking action and having a direction. 
Um, and we go from fire to earth. We stabilize the information. We, we, we um, interpret it and then we apply it to our direct environment. And we, we really um, do try to take advantage of the sources, but we validate them equally. So the energy is switching into decision-making energy. We went from indecision and confusion in a swirl to the swirl has went, the path was cleared, and now we're walking down the path to see what's at the end of the path. Um, it's time for you to compartmentalize all the facts you absorbed from all the different sources during this expansive energy. Absolutely. Uh, we need to figure out what the hell all this meant and what do we, what, what applies to us and, and how does it apply to us? We need that guidance. Um, realistic thinking replaces an, um, overly optimistic thinking. So now we're not in, we're not in idealistic, um, optimistic, Sagittarius, uh, yummy energy. We're into Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is a realistic thinker. It, it, it it's no nonsense. It's op it's restriction and limitation. So it really, honestly, asks you to validate and figure out how all this applies to you. It's time to add some structure back into your life and your routines, and to get control of where you need to focus your energy. Um. It is time to break down all of these new levels of belief systems into more manageable pieces. We can, we were so overloaded. So now we need to take all of that. It's kind of like you get a new task at work and you know, you, you, this is very Capricorn energy. You get a new task at work or you get a new responsibility at work or you get a promotion at work. You get in there and, you know, you take your environment and you're like, well, that person didn't have a really good um, spreadsheet. So I'm going to re I'm going to take their information, but I'm going to um, I'm going to put it into a spreadsheet that makes more sense to me and that I could utilize. Um, and um, you're going to be setting some goals and will be important in this transit and the clarity and the follow through will be imperative in this transit. You're going to see a big transformation in this transit. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I'll be right back to tell you how this is going to affect your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Hi, Aries. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. And for you... This is all happening in your 10th house, and um, your ruler is in the 7th house. So your ruler in the 7th house is going to be sextiling as Saturn and Sagittarius. So I think this is just opening you up for some a different perspective. Um, and I think that you are aligning your the, the way that you... Uh, desire something the direction that you need to to go you're desiring it on this deeply intuitive level and so you had a lot of information come in your environment probably uh changed somewhat especially if it had to do with like a work-based environment or at least you had some thoughts about where you want to go moving forward so to, right now it's just time to Take a look at that, analyze it, and see where you can empower yourself. And so through some of, through this transit, as it begins, um, you know, Pluto is really challenging this, this environment, the structure, the solid, the, how strong is your foundation. This could be a work-based partnership. Um, this could be a partnership where, you know, you uh, you have a partner and that partner is a significant partner in your life. Are you aligning? Um, it could be. OK, we 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 seek partnerships on all levels. So it doesn't have to be just that partnership. I call this energy companionship as well, because I don't have a significant other. I have companions a lot as as a person who does it, who is single. And so um, it could be somebody that you've aligned yourself as a companion, but 
there's something that has to correlate with the way that you're moving forward and the direction. And, you know, it could be like a work based companion somehow. Somebody you align yourself with at work and you see yourself working out with. There is something unexpected. There is something that you need to figure out. And I think it's something that will help you be more decisive and will give you um, give you some information that I really think will will steer you in the right direction. When Mercury moves into Capricorn, um, this is about planning for your future and it, planning is going to be imperative. So you're making some plans and you want to make sure that you can count on who you're making these plans with. Um, you're also really honestly compartmentalizing your thinking. You're really taking all this information that you that you were inundated with. And um, you're really trying to make sense and see how it applies to your life. And then, and then when you're doing that, it's going to completely transform the way that you think about something, especially in the line of partnership. Um, this is real. I mean, it is going to take indecisive um energy and it's going to start to make it decisive as you go through this entire transit i think you're gonna you're going to become very directional um where before you didn't know how to what direction to go thank you so much for watching annette's astrology corner and i look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event Taurus, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. And for you, this is all happening in a beautiful ninth house. And, the new, and that, that, that's really blessed because this has all been Sagittarian energy, giving you a lot of information, and you're really trying to process all this information and really elevate your thinking. So it's really super imperative for you, especially when it comes to some sort of relationship that you're aligning yourself with, that this is a partner that you re that's really testing some boundaries, really expanding the way that you look at things. Um, this is a stable partner. This is stabilizing you in some way. And this person really honestly is is making you enthusiastic about an outcome. It, it's, it's almost adding the... Um, there's a, you, it's like you have a new enthusiasm moving forward energy. It's like where you may have been blocked before for some reason, you're experiencing a release in that area and a, a moving forward energy. You know, this isn't about looking back anymore. And this isn't about, um, this isn't about not aligning your passion with what you truly desire. This really is moving forward with the reality of your situation, with knowing what you want, and um, it's coming full circle. There's something that came full circle in this energy that I really believe was a destined or a fated match to begin with. Um, it's really beautiful, but I do see it somehow in some partnership in your life really, really adding a lot of um, stabilization to your personal situation. Gemini, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. This is your ruler, and it's and it, thank God it's moving into Capricorn. When it moves into Capricorn, guess what? Consistency and stabilization comes into your thought processes. You have been caught in a whirlwind of information, and there has been a lot. There's been a lot of input. And I don't think that you could make a decision that was that was that would you could have really truly follow through on. And this energy, this is about compartmentalizing all of this information. You get to really try to make sense of it. As you do that, there's some sort of beautiful clarity that comes in the direction that you need to go. And with this comes a very transformative mindset. I see something amazing happening for you. I see some sort of difference in the way that you um, approach your home and family life that adds stability and adds some sort of consistency to your life. During that process, I think as you go through this entire Mercury and Capricorn transit, I see you, you really start to align yourself with the highest 
um, form of mental stability that I think you can in any energy with your ruler. So this is about um, this is about challenging probably where you live. Many of you may um, be thinking about moving or uh, moving to a new place, upgrading your life in some way. It, you could be um, there could be some sort of challenge at home that makes you have to make a change in that. I think that's going to align you with your heart's desire. I think it's just going to define it and really point you in the right direction. And I really think that um, you're going to become much more reliable in your thinking moving forward. And there's going to be just, there's just going to, you're going to be able to rely on the information coming in. It's going to be consistent. You're going to be able to compartmentalize it. And this is just a welcome relief after all of that crazy energy. You know, a transit goes through 28 degrees and it gets aspected along the way. So many things are going to happen that's going to further clarify where you should be going. Thank you so much for watching an Astrology Corner and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological Event. Hi Cancers, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn and for you... This is this is the seventh house. This is that union partnership based house. And we have a lovely aspect. The moon in Sagittarius is going to be sextiling Mars and Libra. Partnership, romance, love, pleasure. You are going to get a boost, a boost in every way that makes you a happy cancer. Um I love that the moon is going to be conjunct with Saturn in Sagittarius. Lots of optimistic energy, lots of hopeful mental processes. It's going to make you want to slip out of your shell and become a little bit more optimistic in this energy. Um, you know, anytime Mercury moves into Capricorn, of course, that is aspecting that your opposite house. If you're rising, if, and this is definitely a rising video. Um, for people who have a raising in, in a cancer, you really want to pay attention to this because this is how others are seeing you and how you're being um, interpreted. So I really believe that you're uplifting and you're fun and you're energetic. If you are at all reserved and you feel like you can't come out of your shell, you're indecisive and, you know, um, you are looking at all of your mistakes and you're not willing to make that that you're not willing to plant that seed that is before you. Um, I think you're going to find this energy is going to be a little tough. It's going to be very it's going to be asking you some questions. It's going to ask you to take control of your life and there's going to be an expectation to do so. So. Remember, we go through 28 degrees in this energy for all of you guys that are willing to take um, a risk in partnerships and love and pleasure and creativity. This energy is going to rock for you. For those of you that are a little bit scared, you don't want to be too idealistic, you're reserved in this energy, uh, you're protective, and... Um, then there's going to be some messages that may make you understand that that's not what you should be doing with this energy that truly to align yourself with the high vibration, this energy, you know what you need to trust your gut because we are in stabilized thinking. A lot of information came in and we have some new direction to really implement into our lives. Thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn and for you. This is the world of unexpected. You know, um, so there are routines that you have become super regimented in, and um, <laughs> those routines are going to not be the same after this entire transit. Um you know what? Uh, partnerships are going to come into your life. Unexpected romantic connections, um, lots of pleasure, lots of excitement, lots of creativity is going to flood in and shake up these regimented belief systems in your routines. Um, some of you could stray outside of your um, your healthy routines and um, 
I wouldn't do that because you've got Saturn uh, conjunct with the sun. And so Saturn's going to be slapping some hands if you fall into the lower vibration. Just remember to keep your routines healthy. And if you are pleasure seeking, that they are they are good for you and that they will inevitably lead to something good. Um, for those of you that are just really open, opened up to something new, get out, break your routines um, as long as they are in the high vibration and mix, mingle, go to parties, go do something that really gets you out there because romantic opportunity is around the corner and I believe that these are strong, strong, strong partnerships. Very beautiful energy. When Mars is in Libra, this is partnering energy, so it has the potential to create a romantic connection with somebody that's going to last for quite some time. Thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. Hi, Virgos. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. And for you, this is going to be happening in the fifth house. I love this energy because we're trying to get you to just uh, break out of being protective and... I think you you have this tendency to want to look back and, you know, you poured a lot of energy into things and you're starting over again and it's super stressful to do that. Being overly optimistic makes you nervous and um, you don't really trust that you can, you know, that you really, really have the strength to move forward and that people are going to see what you see about you. That's actually the really low side of this vibration. High side of this vibration, creativity and opportunity, right? Pleasure, lots and lots of beautiful energy pouring into here, into you, especially if you are out there mixing, mingling, trying to sell yourself, sell concepts, sell ideas. Um, you know, this is, you got to be out there communicating. You got to be talking. Opportunity opens up if you get your butt out there. Remember that this transit has to go through 28 degrees and it will be aspected in different ways as it goes. So opportunity is, is constantly changing and you have to be adaptable and you have to go with it. Capricorn energy is about giving you success. It is about finding a very, um, it's about solidifying your foundation. So if you are one of those people that are in this protection mode where you don't want to go out there and, you know, you see that you have to, but you're hesitant because for some reason you you don't have enough faith or you're insecure about yourself. Don't do it. The energy doesn't support it. It'll lower your vibration and you'll get some sort of Saturn ramification from it. Go out there, mix, mingle. There are opportunities to be had. And I think that you are going to find something that aligns with you and really changes your direction. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner. And I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. Hi, Libra. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner. And this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. For you, this is going to be happening in home and family, and um, your ruler is really um, taking a look at who values you. If you feel aligned with who values you and and, and um, getting what you want from your family dynamics. So, I really believe you're going to have a really beautiful energy about this. Now, if you are caught in doubt and hesitation, and if you are caught in the past, and if you are pulling your past relationships into your current family dynamic then I think what this you are going to be you're going to square off in this energy as you become you try to control your environment and your family to align them to get what you want if you're too overbearing in this energy and you're not as diplomatic as normal, you're too intense you will find that you will not align with your family very well High vibration in this energy, and it's gorgeous, by the way, is Venus and Scorpio is going to sextile Mercury and Capricorn. This is all about uh, if if you just show others that they that they are valued, and in turn they will value you. If you let down some of this need to protect yourself and stop looking back. 
I really truly believe there's going to be a way that you can align yourself better in this energy. It could be a new concept that's been that came in last month that that you really have to start to pull into this new family dynamic, um, especially if your family dynamic is a little. It, there's something about it that doesn't exactly resonate with you. Um, but I do believe that the situation will come for full circle in this particular energy as it moves forward. Now, remember, this energy goes through 28 degrees. It gets aspected along the way with lots of different energies. And it, it really um, allows you to stabilize and create an outcome that you deeply desire. If you stay in the high vibration, if you catch yourself being overbearing, critical, and if you and if you if you get too regimented in your belief system, you're going to find that you slip into those lower vibrations. Um, I believe it's gorgeous. I believe it is, but you have to remember that your ruler is in Scorpio. Scorpio is a very, very, very intense energy for Venus to be in. Lots of desire, lots of passion, lots. You, you could pour so much desire into an outcome that it could come off too intense. Just beware of that. Stay in the high vibration of like um, a Scorpio energy. So that energy is just... Be super passionate and just have a, a very open heart and just let people in. And you know what? Even if behind the scenes there's some ulterior motive to it, um, I just believe that if you just do some, a little bit more of that beautiful Scorpioizing everybody and it's kind of like, it's to me it always reminds me of, you know, the a vampire when he sees his prey like he just does something that puts them in a trance if you rely on more of that then I believe that you're going to get a really really great outcome out of this beautiful energy anyhow guys thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event Hi guys, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. So, your energy is a bit, uh, I think it gets pulled easily down into the more intense, lower vibration. I want to warn you. Now, look, I cannot emphasize this enough on my channel. We choose the vibration we, we, we uh, align with. We do. And at all times, our mind is, is something that we can control. Now, I know that because you have Mars and Libra right now, which is not in its best vibration, and we have Pluto and Capricorn squaring Uranus and Aries, I know this means that it is highly and probably inevitably um it's probably inevitable that because Mars is in Libra in the 12th house, that there is something coming up that you have to deal with in this transit that can pull you down into the lower vibration of um, Capricorn energy. And you got to beware of Capricorn energy because Pluto's in Capricorn right now. So I cannot emphasize this enough to you. We are going to make it a mission, you and I, to stay in a high vibration no matter what. No matter what Uranus pulls out of its ass, I don't care. We're going to stay together and we're going to rock the energy and mean we're just going to work through it, right? So. Low vibration, I want to warn you what it is so you can recognize it for what it is. And you can say, you know what, this is a fracking low vibration moment and I'm choosing to elevate my energy. So you may, um, you may, you may be very authoritarian, authoritative and you may be pushy with your opinions, right? Um, you may have a, just, it, it, stupid people just may get to you, right? Because you're so intelligent in this energy, this really is flooding into, you're completely receptive to energy. So when you're trying to make a point and people don't get it, you could be very erratic. You could be very uh, snappy. 
beware of the fact that if you just look at somebody and you're like, you're a fracking moron, just zip it. Zip it and don't say anything and just walk away and say it to the air. I don't care what you got to do to get it out of you, but don't say it because we're trying to stabilize our foundation. We're trying to work with this energy. And when we get to 12th house work and you, you get all sensitive, you easily fall into the low vibration of energy and you start to get very regimented and you start to get super narrow minded and you start to get super de uh, defensive, moody, pessimistic. And then what you do with all that is you desire control. You desire immediate control over this situation and you become super overbearing. So I am going to warn you. So let's talk about high vibration and energy because we're going to stay determined to be in there in 12th house work. And that's a hard area. So let's do it together. Mars and Libra in 12th house. Uh, is going to sextile the sun in Sagittarius. So this is about aligning yourself with what you value. Guess what? Not everybody needs to understand the level of your intelligence. Not everybody needs to get what you get right in life. So if you try to influence somebody's opinion, because you know what? It's a really good advice. When somebody doesn't take it or somebody doesn't get on board with your idea, Especially if this has to do with somebody that is clo close to you, a partnership to you, a companion in any way, um, a work-based companion, um, I would say that you need to just value your own opinion and you need to you need to validate it yourself and know that you're right and know that your instincts are usually always right and walk away and let them suffer from their ignorance. Okay, so don't fall into the deep deep part of this um, this energy that will keep you in the high energy that will keep you valuing yourself aligning with yourself aligning with Saturn good stuff to align yourself with and restrict and limit your responses to people because it doesn't matter there you know some people are just fracking narrow-minded and they're never going to see the when you are when you are this aligned with energy and there's this much desire and Venus is in Scorpio right now, you probably intuitively you're dead right. But sometimes people aren't just gonna see brilliance right before them. They just aren't. Pluto and Capricorn is going to trine Jupiter and Virgo, and this is hopes, dreams, and wishes. This is about this is big stuff, guys. So you want let's not get caught in Uranian and Mars and Libra and 12th house work. Let's talk about the future. Let's talk about hopes. Let's talk about dreams. Let's align yourself with that vibration, right? Who cares about your immediate environment right now and the narrow-minded world that we live in? And if we have some Uranian moment and there is something, there's some power and control struggle that maybe you get caught in the middle of and it pulls you back into that 12th house work where you've been here before, you understand it and you're trying to push your ideas, understand you're never going to get control and um, you need to pull yourself into what about my life? Can I fix about my life? Not about the world, not about politics, not about everything else that's, that's going on, structures of any sort, um, you know, and, and it could be structures, foundations in your home environment. What do I need? Get selfish. You want 12th house work is selfish work. It is about working behind the scenes. It's about a motive to get yourself aligned with what your dreams, your hopes, your wishes are. This is not, they don't get your time and they don't get that from you. And just stay strong. I felt like I have, every time I cover you, when I, good God, when I deal with like Mars and Libra, debilitated, and then Pluto and Capricorn, which is always squaring off with Uranus and Aries, I'm like, ugh, heavy crap talking to you guys lately. Anyhow, stay, stay in a good vibration. Uh, we got 28 degrees to go. This is going to get aspected. I will try to guide you through it. Have a wonder, wonder, wonderful transit. And um, I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological event. Hi, Sagittarius. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner. And this is your energetic reading for um, Mercury moving into Capricorn. And for you, your ruler sitting in your career life past destiny, right? 
And it's aligning you with what you value. Really, honestly, if you were to really truly ask yourself what you value, I'll give you for instance, I don't value money. I used to. I used to align myself completely with money. And so many of my decisions about what I wanted for my career life path destiny was always, it was very different. Now, it's just about happiness in my work environment every day. And that career life path destiny truly deeply does resonate with me. So for you, um, this event is squaring you uh, when it starts out. Now, understand we have 28 degrees to go. There's a lot of things that will aspect it and, and change your opinion and form your opinion and define your opinion. Um, but at this point, the career, your career life path destiny is really going to challenge. To me, there's something in your life that you probably don't have that you want deeply. And it is something that you value. You placed a lot of value on. So this is about... How do you get it right? Anytime we 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 experience a square, and in in the way that we interpret information, the way that we deal with our environment, um, the way that uh, that we go about uh, changing our immediate environment, um, it, it and and the agility of our thinking. Um, this is about, and especially when it's in Capricorn, it's about getting what you want, setting a goal, and achieving it through 28 degrees. That's what it's going to be about. It's about aligning your sun. It's about aligning the way you think. And, and it's about getting the outcome that you want with um, moving forward energy, with Jupiter and Virgo energy. It's about expanding the cracks in certain areas of where you're just, you just haven't nailed it yet. And during this process comes this amazing transformation in personal power and structure and foundations. So something for you, it's like you're a, it's like you're a butterfly in a cocoon right now. And I truly believe that through this transit, there comes some amazing clarity in the way that you think that really, really, really changes structure and foundation for you. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. Capricorn, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. For you, we've got we've got a lot of stuff going on. Saturn is really wanting you to dip back into your past, karma, where you suffer, uh, what you stuff. Right, where where you where you uh, hide from the suppressed um, limitations, and it's it wants it wants to bring it forward and it wants to process it outwardly, and it's going to be conjunct with the moon and the sun at this big stuff for you, big unveiling, big awakening. I can't tell you. To me, this is a full circle in energy. There could have been some karmic issue that over these past few years you have been working through that's coming first full circle. This is about really being honest, honest with limitation and restriction, acknowledging it for what it is, accepting it, and moving forward. This is about no matter how hard you've worked to overcome it, we get a fresh new start. And um, this is that ability to take all, it, some, for many of us, it takes years of experience and to, in deciphering energy, deciphering lessons, dealing with karmic relationships, and, um, and pulling out some suppressed, um, limitations for us to fully get us right that's why many people have always valued o older age you know um, why they consider them wise people because at, they've done all of this availing in their life and they have all of these beautiful nuggets in, in um, thought processes it's your time for that it's your time for that and as you do this I, I believe there's some clarity. Um, there, there was something 
that did, you weren't, there was like an empty spot, an empty bucket. I love this one lady I watch, and she's just, she always talks about empty buckets. And um, there's just something that either you didn't get when you were young or that you didn't, that karmic relationships showed you that there was this empty hole in you that you pulled forward from, it, if you believe in, reincarnation and karma that you pulled into this new life whatever you believe there's an empty spot and it you've been processing the spot and I believe clarity happens throughout the month of December but especially through this transit and I believe it aligns you with um I really deeply believe that it aligns you with how you feel emotionally It'll broaden that perspective deeply because as you process this, right, you understand a limitation. You process the way that you emotionally identify things better, right? Um, and then the sun, your core, your deep desire, that's really going to tie into this. And then we're talking about pulling up the stuff from the past and aligning it with your how you portray yourself. Big stuff. Beautiful energy. Squares, yes. Squares energy, uh, real reality checks absolutely, and um, it's about it really is about um, there was a regimented and you had a you had a narrow mind about something, and it really is about opening yourself up to where that where you had that restriction, and unveiling something beautiful and amazing. Anyhow, guys, you know, you go through 28 degrees of this, so where it starts off, it never ends. And so the, as, the, as, as the transit gets aspected by different planets, you get more clarity and you get more input and you start to decipher the information. So anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. And it's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn. So lots of swirling, lots of confusing energy for a person who is very fixed and usually knows what they want and is you really honest. It's, it's not as though you can't grasp new concepts, but they have to be something that you can verify for you to really um really get the most out of energy um so this event is dealing in your 12th house so we're doing a lot of really deep thinking in this energy there's a lot that's going on in your mind and a lot that you may not be letting people in on this is working behind the scenes this is stuff that you will be thinking through um and it's going to try in Saturn and try in the Sun in Sagittarius in your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. I think you are at a point where you're realigning yourself. It's a this is realignment. You're done. Okay, so you had a bunch of mutable energy and it was a bunch of chaos and it was a bunch of crap, right? And it was confusing and you didn't understand it and it really kind of derailed you. Some of the stuff that happened just really was so out of left field and it was it kind of jolted you and what this I like what this energy does is because it challenges us then to say that bites that's not my life and here's what I want and I fracking know it now and it directs you and it's a clear path it's a clear and concise message for you so that's what you got so we're talking about transformation, I think, in relationships especially. I think when Mars is in Libra and it's and it's opposing Uranus and Aries, I think that's a clarification in some sort of relationship. Now, remember that relationships come on all levels. Relationships come in friends, right? Since we have so much 11th house work, uh, friends, uh, relationships that we develop through social networks and that we form some sort of companions in. Um, there could be some redefinition in those. There could be some redefinition in um, the relationships, the 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 partnerships, the unions that you have. There's a need to change something or realign it or make it make it better. And and you got you. This is a reality check. This is reality 
this is not whimsical thinking whatsoever. This is stabilizing it, and it's a and Saturn is going to take control of this situation. It may be Saturn may be an immutable energy, but it's an expansive thinking. That's what it's more about. Yes, it is an immutable energy source because um, it wants you to take a look at different perspectives, but it also wants to stabilize, control, restrict, and limit it so that you have a clear and decisive path to go down. Saturn training Uranus and Aries, so your two, two rulers are training each other, means that there is going to be a lot of unexpected opportunity that could be happening with a friend, with um, talking, talking through things. Um, there could be some sort of clarity. And I want to, and this is going to align you truly and deeply with your hopes, dreams, and wishes. I think as you go through this, I think emotionally you're going to get on board. Your desire, you're going to get back on board. You you just went the wrong way for a while. And, and I believe that. And now you're just getting redirected to go just back on the right track. We all go through this. We all do. And I believe that that was some sort of karmic journey that you were on. Now we're taking you, we're, we're directing you on the right path. You're strong-willed and you're determined and you don't let things go easily. So this journey for you, as you go through 28 degrees of this transit, is going to challenge you. As I gave, I, I, I told you guys in your month, your uh, monthly report, you kind of had the most challenging energy, but I believe it's just to realign you because you get what you want in this energy if you just stay in the high vibration and you let Saturn guide you, your ruler, and you stay realistic and you let opportunity into your life align you with your hopes, dreams, and wishes. Thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. Hi Pisces, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner and this is your energetic reading for Mercury moving into Capricorn and for you, your ruler is still conjunct Chiron and Pisces. And it is training Venus and Scorpio, beautiful, beautiful energy. Remember that your ruler is, is you, you're not going to be able to idealize anything in this energy because Saturn is squaring off. Um, with your ruler and it is squaring off with the moon and so this is um, you know what not too optimistic um, you're not going to sugarcoat anything um, this is about being blunt direct getting what you want um, you know this is about um, you know you're just going to be sharp you're going to be you're going to be decisive once you understand what the energies mean. Um, it is taking in a lot of different um, opinions and validating the sources, but intuition is going to be high in this energy um, because um, Saturn is going to be pointing you in the right direction of your career, life, path, destiny. Whatever you're aligning yourself with, this is big stuff, guys. Expansive thinking, career, life, path, destiny, hopes, dreams, and wishes damn you cannot get more beautiful than this so let's talk about where the energy stays high so that you can follow you can float along the cloud in the right direction and to me this has to do with creativity i i can't emphasize this enough i told you in your monthly that i see creativity really expanding your consciousness and your opportunity levels um, I believe some of you may have strayed off and got into these jobs that pay the bills and you're doing really great and you're super successful in, but that's never what you are geared for. You were always geared for that gift, that special Pisces gift. There's something absolutely genuine and unique about every single Pisces. And if, and, and, and you're going to be gifted and you're going to have the blessings because Jupiter you know, in the new concept of astrology, real is is your second secondary ruler. So, um, you know, you always have some sort of lucky charm that kind of just is the direction you go is kind of like where you're going to be blessed in, but you're straying away from that unique gift, that Piscean beautiful gift that only you can give. Remember, all the signs dump into you. There's something super beautiful and unique. Don't let it go 
Don't let it slip away from you. Get caught in all this regimented life um, and really start to open yourself up to this gift because Saturn really wants you to, Saturn working in a square can harness your energy and really, you know, it can limit where you're at right now so that you can start to not want to stay there, you know, and it just pushes you back in the right direction. It's kind of a pushing energy. It's like, if you want to stay regimented, I'm going to shove you in the, a different energy. That's kind of what this is all about. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Anet's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event.